Howie Roseman, Howie, 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 fucking Howie. I never knew that we were going to be in such a good situation in free agency. You know why? Albert Breer of NFL tweeted out this morning all the cap situations of every team. The Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles are 11th best in cap space. 27 and a half million in cap space. 2 million shy of 30 million. My boy Lord Dagger, that's on YouTube and on Twitter, tweeted me out today and said, I didn't know that we had this much money. Then I thought to myself, <laughs> I honestly thought we had 17 to 20 million. That's what I thought we had. I haven't checked the overthecap.com. I haven't really checked it uh, lately if they updated it. Last time I checked, they had 15 million. Um, 27 and a half million in cap, 2 million shy of 30 million in cap space for the Philadelphia Eagles. A week before free agency, the, the, the Philadelphia Eagles, Howie Roseman may maneuver some money around. Restructure of restructure of Lane Johnson. The restructure of Roddy McLeod to keep him here for one more year. Um, Jason Kelsey extension. Made him the highest paid center, but saved $4 million in cap space. Getting rid of getting rid of Stefan Wisniewski, which gave us three million in cap space. He, he's done it all. He's uh, trading Michael Bennett. That was probably one of the biggest ones. We're going to pay him extra money because he wanted more snaps and hearing all the bullshit behind it. But a lot of people don't know about this Michael Bennett trade to the Patriots, which pissed us off. But at the same time, it saved seven point two million this year, and it saved eight million next year. That's what I didn't know about half of that deal. Then apparently with this Malik Jackson contract, he manu I don't know the, all the details. He maneuvered some money around. He gave him more uh, signing money. And apparently the, th the three-year $30 million deal turned into mostly a two-year deal. And if he leaves in the, in the, after the second year, the Eagles can pick up an option if they want. And... Um, and that freed up some money, too. I don't even know all the statistics to that deal. But Albert Breer posted this morning, not today at midnight when I'm doing this video. I'm talking about this morning. And $27.5 million for the Philadelphia Eagles, 11th best. We were, what, 1.6 over the cap at the end of the season in 2018? Made a bunch of moves a week before free agency, and we were the 20th best team. Now we're the 11th best team in cap space with 27 and a half million. I got to give it to them. I don't see any GMs doing this. Now, I've seen GMs restructure, of course. Um, I've seen it, ha you know what I mean? But, man, this guy is just, he just knows, he just knows how to do his job well. <laughs> That's just it. That's why he gets paid. That's why we can never get rid of Howie Roseman. He's with us for, what, another three seasons, counting this year? Um, but you got to give it to Howie. Uh, we really do. $27.5 million, and I don't even think it's over yet. I don't even think we're done yet with the restructures or whatnot. Um, um, some people get confused because restructures aren't pay cuts. Restructures is just moving money around, giving less that the players are getting less money now, more money later. Um, it's a whole different, you know, thing. But this is fantastic. What can the Eagles do with the twenty-seven and a half million? I mean, they could still save money. They could extend, you know, Nelson Aguilar. This is his last year on his contract. Nine point two, nine point three million cap hit this year. They could extend him less, you know, extend his years, lessen the cap hit, receive more savings into the cap. With that move as well, the Eagles could have over thirty million um, in cap space. Um, and what are they going to do with this? Um, Howie's moving a lot of money around right now, and uh, I, I'm thinking, you know, free agency, the big rush of the first, you know, all the really top tier players are gone. There's still a few guys left, of course. Eric Berry is still on the board. Um, there's a bunch of guys still left, but. Um, 
you know, rougher right now, I have no problem um, with how he's doing. And, you know, we have some glaring holes right now. We need a third safety. We need a linebacker. We need, um, we need a running back. You know what I mean? Um, we might need some depth at receiver. We need those depth signings, and Howie hasn't really done those depth signings. The cornerback position, we retained all our corners. Look what Howie did. Ronald Darby went to, you know, visit the Kansas City Chiefs, didn't come back with a deal, figured, hey, I'm going to go back to Philadelphia for one more year. He said he loved being here. He loved playing for us. He loves this city, and he would rather before he gets paid big money, he'd rather go back to where he is, where he knows the scheme and he knows the guys and he doesn't have to go somewhere new and try to do something at a, at a you know at another team to try to get his big money. I think it would be harder for him to get big money next year if he's on a whole different team, new scheme, new coach, new players, new surroundings around him, you know, a different way of doing things, a different culture. But when he's here, he has more of a chance to get a bigger contract because he'll play well. Um, but most likely he won't play the first week. But, you know, um, you know, he had his torn ACL. He had his injury. You know, uh, he had the surgery late November. So um, probably won't play the first week. But um, how he just retained our whole secondary back. Um, and that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'm glad. I'm glad all the guys are back. Avante Max, Craven LeBlanc, Rasul Douglas, all them boys are back together. And it's, and it's a great thing. I don't, I could see the Eagles going out and drafting one more fucking corner in the draft. Not early, but hell, they'll draft one in the fifth round. I don't even care. Um, if somebody in the fifth round, you know, a corner gets picked in the fifth round, we pick a corner and he turns out to be better than Jalen Mills. For hell, he could he could start over Jalen Mills. I mean, it's it's just it's about competition. That that's what it's all about. Um, so I'm happy with it. How he's been doing a great thing. I couldn't believe how much money. Um, if I didn't say it before, uh, um, shout out to Lord Dagger on Twitter, Lord Dagger on YouTube as well. Um, he kind of you know uh, tweeted me out. I was like, do we really have this much money? I was like, wow. I. I thought we had at least between 17 to 20 million. That's what I thought. Um, Cause last time we had 15, we did the restructure to Nigel Bradham and Chris Long a few days ago that freed up 5.3 million. Um, so, wow, um, I'm impressed. And I'm actually excited to see what they do <laughs> with the rest of what they have. I'm not saying they need to spend it all, but um, kind of excited to see what happens. So uh, that's really about it, guys. I want to go over that with you. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What you guys think of what how he's done so far? I understand, um, you know, a lot. We didn't get any big splash moves. I understand that. Besides, Malik Jackson is kind of of, of a splash because we actually paid him pretty good money. Um, but other than that, that's really it. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this. And I will see you guys later. Chase going up. Files fly. fly.